G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm pushing on with that Sterling engine I've been working on. Uh, I'm doing another Gamma engine. And I'm making up uh, a link pin, a knuckle for the for the conrod on the displacer side out of brass. Now, you would have seen me make up this uh, TPG, I suppose you could call it, powered by a 775 DC motor and I've got two chucks on this that I can cross drill and radi radial drill with it. It works fantastic. Now I've done that, I've done all my uh, indexing and drilling with it. I'll show you afterwards what I've done. So I had to make up a knuckle for one of the condors to go in and as you can see I'm using collets. I mean this sort of work you have to use collets. It's just if you want any sort of accuracy and no hassle to use collets, ER32. But what am I doing? Well, I'm milling this brass with a 4mm high speed steel milling bit. And I thought, well, while I'm doing it, I thought I'd give you a look and you can just watch how well this works. And once again, this is a light duty unit. You know, I wouldn't, don't, don't think I want to try milling steel with it, but if you're doing model making, and you're working in brass or aluminium, yeah, this would do it easy. So I'll zoom in on it and I'll do a bit of milling. You can watch. Okay. Going a bit deeper this time. So you can see that the the mill did the job no problem whatsoever. This is the Gamma engine, home cast aluminium, a Pentium 4 heat sink from a CPU, and I'll be using a dampener for the power piston, the same as I used on the last Gamma engine I made. So this will, this will screw in here. This is a stainless steel cover that will keep it all sealed. You can see the, the job's coming along very nicely. The heat section here is some high chrome steel out of a track axle. And of course the vertical rises on both sides are brazed bronze brazed once again you do a nice neat job you could never 
get that sort of finish with any sort of electric arc, it would look like crap, basically. So, yeah, this is where brazing is very, very, very good for model making. Once again, you're working in very small scale here, so, you know, a half a mil is, could be a 50% error factor. So, yeah, you, uh, you have to uh, get everything pretty right. This is just a wooden base. I've just got a boulder to, to uh, set things up. So here's, that's where we're at, guys. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. So on the back, you can see where I radial drilled. Once again, I rad did all that radial drilling with that setup I just showed you. And if we look at the front, you can see, once again, all perfectly done. Now, and in the last video, high-speed steel putting off blades. I did all the finning with high-speed steel putting off blades. And that's why I ordered some more. So yeah, guys, you know, it's all doable. It's all possible. You can make all sorts of stuff happen in your workshop. All you can do is, you know, get moving, do it. And at the end of the day, I expect this thing to run. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. I'm using the same specification as the previous gamma I made and that runs like a top but I expect this one to run indefinitely because good cooling fantastic cooling for the power piston small heat gallery going across 3 mil, and yeah I'm about two thirds of the way through it so there you go guys that's where things are at and uh, right now I'm just having a glass of red and uh, a wind down. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cheers.